everyone, and welcome to Alvin Dessert. My name is Shawnee Wissanant, and I am your host. I am here today with, guys, she is incredible. I met her this year. We have worked together as she has built a business from scratch, right? It takes, she is one of the most tenacious. She is one of the most real. She is one of the dopest people I have ever, ever met. I adore her to bits. And she is here to make a really, really great side dish with me that will probably end up being a whole meal for me. I'm just going to put it out there. Um, her name, friends, is Samantha or Sam Gaines. And I want you guys to give her the warmest, warmest welcome to the Begin With Butter Kitchen. Hi, Sam. Hi. How are you today? I am fantabulous. Thank you so much for having me here. We love fantabulous. We Don't love we? it. Don't we? We, we only do. got one life to live. It might as well be fantabulous. Listen, I yeah. love that. I love that. I say all the time, the life you're living now is a dress rehearsal for nothing. The life you're living now is opening night. So live it like, like opening that. night. I like it. I'm really proud of that one. <laughs> I say it all the time. <laughs> I know people are sick of it. Like, stop saying it's opening night. It is. It's always opening night. So why not live that way? Make sure you project your voice. <laughs> <laughs> but I am so thrilled that you are here today. Can you just tell people how we know each other? Um, I decided that I really wanted to take a class and um, I wanted it to be about pound cakes and mm -hmm. it, it magically appeared. So I guess the universe heard my call. And then um, this place called Instagram, you may have heard of it. Uh, I was scrolling. Mm -hmm. I was scrolling <laughs> and I saw this lady who made pound cakes and I saw this lady who played 90s hip hop, which I love because I was there. Hello. I was, like, I was like, I think this is a place for me so I can perfect my pound cakes. I mean, I've been making them, but I wanted to perfect them. Right. And we are. I found this place called Begin With Butter, and life is always better with butter, and uh, who doesn't love butter? Who doesn't love butter? Doesn't. I mean, whether it's, like, cow butter or vegan butter, like, who doesn't love butter? Butter. Put it on you the bread, put it on the donut, put it on the sliced pound cake. <laughs> put it on everything. We don't trust people who don't like butter. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is. They've got to be aliens from another planet. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. You may be onto something there. I don't like calling people aliens, but <laughs> if there's evidence that they are, <laughs> we'll just go with it. So how are you today? I'm wonderful. I'm wonderful. And you're joining us from where? It's a little place called... Uh, Elk Grove, California, but to the world, it's probably Sacramento. So I'm, I'm on the outskirts of Sacramento. So guys, I'm in Maryland. My home skillet right here is from California, A, and we have come together for this show in life. I see Sam, what, a few times a week? Yeah. And we chat, chat, chat it up about what she's doing with her business. What's the name of your business, Sam? Sugar Wham. And how did you come to that name? Uh, it, it took a lot of work. Um, uh -huh. I started out with um, moist, rich, and delicious. And I had a friend who's a business major. And she was like, ah, Samantha, that word. <laughs> <laughs> what word is that, Sam? Moist. <laughs> Oh yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, there's a negative connotation. I was just like, but I like it. She was just like, she's like, don't do it. So I was just like, okay, I need something quick. I need something easy, preferably one word, but one word was just a little too hard. So I uh -huh. had to, so I kind of put it out to the universe. I would like to have something catchy, simple, easy, two words. Um, so butter was taken everywhere I could find it. Any, any and every way of combination I could find it. Um, Sugar, who doesn't love sugar, you know, um, and then Wham is kind of a, a family nickname. Uh-huh. 
Sammy Whammy Woo. So the family calls Sammy me Whammy. Sammy Woo. Yeah, I should put that out to the universe, but uh, that's what the family calls me. They call me Whammy. So oh. there you go. Sugar Wham. Sammy Whammy Woo. <laughs> I see it. I totally <laughs> see that. Okay. Yeah. I love that for like an inspiration behind your name because it's personal to you, right? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It is. Did that make you feel like your business belonged to you when you gave it that name? I don't think so until I heard other people say it. Really? Yeah. It didn't feel real? None of this feels real. <laughs> really? I'm still adjusting. I'm still adjusting. Oh my gosh. So tell me what you're adjusting to. Um, seeing myself in this capacity, seeing myself as a business owner, seeing myself as, you know, the cake lady. Um, it's good though. It's good. What's your speciality for cakes? I love pound cake. I do. I, I love the nostalgia of it all. It takes me back to my days and my origin. Yeah. Being in church, waiting for those juices and refreshments and seeing what those ladies, what them church mothers was going to bring. Yes. And they brought it. They brought it every single time. Every single time. What were the church mothers famous for? You know, everybody's got something they're famous for. Well, it's so funny you said that because I, the way my, my mother raised me, I was on that pew from day one. Mm hmm. And I had my first cousin and she never went to church. And it was so mm -hmm. funny. One day she called me and she's like, Samantha. And I said, what? And she said, um, have you had um, Mama Whaley's um, Texas sheet cake yet? I said, what do you know about Mama Whaley's Texas Right. Because you ain't never been to church. You ain't. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> and I did have Mother Whaley's uh, Texas sheet cake, and it was absolutely delicious. It was oh, wait a minute. I want to know how your cousin knew about Mama Whaley's Texas sheet cake. I didn't even get around to asking. I just told her, yeah, I had She wasn't it. in the church basement. No, she was not. So <laughs> she was not. Look at me started stuff between you and your cousin. I'm joking. <laughs> I was forced oh. there. She was not. But, but you I got, got to. I got. But the you treat. got what? I got the treat. So we have Mama Whaley's Texas sheet cake. What other like deliciousness do you remember? Seven from... up cupcakes. Seven up cupcakes. Yes. And where did you grow up that you were having all of these delicious delicacies? I grew up in this little place called Modesto, California. Mm -hmm. And I originally grew up in the Church of Zion. So I went to an AME Zion church. Um, mm -hmm. Eventually we transitioned to a Baptist church. But, you know, I remember every single church mother and I remember every single cake. That is so sweet. Oh, my gosh. So, and I'm sure they remember you as the wee yeah. one who loved cake. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. But didn't they feed you like chicken and stuff too? Or was it just cake in the basement? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? We couldn't wait for the fried chicken. We couldn't wait for the macaroni and cheese. Uh -huh. I, wasn't, I wasn't a greens girl, but there were some greens there, of course. There was a I would have eaten the greens for you. Good. Okay. I'd be like, just give me what's on your plate. Mm -hmm. You can have it. You can I've have been known it. to make a meal of greens, honey. Oh, it's it's literally, yeah. It's one of my favorite things. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've heard. Not the polygon? Yes. The polygon keep you from getting sick. <laughs> all of it. I want oh, <laughs> anything. Anything greens affiliated. Like, I want to eat that. Yes. Do you mix yours? Yes. Do you do collards and mustard? Do you mix them or do you usually go? Not with anymore. Meat? My mother used to mix collards and mustards. Mm -hmm. um, I just do collards. And mostly it's because cleaning mustard greens not for you. This is not for me. The <laughs> cleaning of the college is enough. <laughs> Cause I soak like I soak them and then I rinse them two or three times. All right. And yeah, and we have some farmers around here who grow some wonderful, wonderful greens. But when they come when they're fresh out of the ground, they're muddy and dirty. And that's how they're supposed to be. Yeah. Um yeah. So it takes a while to get even the collards clean. But if I was trying to clean mustard, oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm so scarred thinking about like my cleaning of mustard greens as a kid. Yeah. Did you shell black eyed peas too? Yes. Of yeah. course. Of course, yeah. 
So what, so you're talking about things that are very traditionally like Texas sheet cake, um, seven up pound cake. These things are very traditionally Southern. Do you and your family have roots anywhere in the South? Um, I, you know, I have researched my family tree. Mm -hmm. The family that I know is very deeply rooted in California, even though African-American history, I do have, right? I do have ancestors here that predate the Civil War. But wow, I, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, so I, I was never that kid that got to grow up and have summers in Alabama or Mississippi or somewhere. Right. In I was California, by and by, tr tried and true all my life. Yeah. But, but that's I did. amazing because your ancestors were there for the gold rush. Yeah, that's they, incredible. They were here. Um, and I did actually find an ancestor that owned a restaurant, believe it or not. It, a lot of rich history. A lot of rich history. Um, I love this. Yeah, but on my mom's side, and I wasn't, we weren't very connected. Um, she was from, her roots were Arkansas, Mississippi, mm -hmm. and Louisiana. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there was, those roots are there. They're there. Ah, so that explains your love of, of these like Southern delicacies. I want that sugar. I want you want it. that sugar. I want mm -hmm. that sugar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hear you. <laughs> I have something, a little something, something. In the oven. Mm. I just want to check on it. Mm. So I did have a check timer on it. I see the light on. Yeah. <laughs> the light's on. Wow. We're not done yet, though. Okay. <laughs> We're not done yet. That's the thing that I am making to accompany this wonderful, wonderful dish that we're making today. And tell me what we're making today. We are making fried cabbage. Um, Yum. I usually do the bacon. I know uh -huh. you're not a bacon girl, but oh, wow. we are doing, we're doing fried cabbage. And but I, I have the bacon grease. Flavor. That, that equates to flavor, and that is good. All right. So how much bacon grease do I need? Mm -hmm. Usually you do about five or six pieces of bacon, and you leave the grease in there. So I'd say mm -hmm. maybe two or three um, tablespoons. Okay. All right. And I'm going to put that in there, and I'm going to get it melted up. What am I going to do once I do all that? Yeah, I'm going to get a nice white onion, mm -hmm. throw it in that bacon grease, and caramelize it. All right. So I have my onion cut up. I've got my bacon grease going into the pan. Oh, boy. And we do get to use my favorite ingredient of all time. That garlic. Gotcha. <laughs> What's that? Butter. Oh, yes, absolutely. All right. Bacon grease is all up in there. Here's my onion going in there. We're going to turn it down a little bit. Okay. Got a little pop. Little sizzle. Man, we're getting busy, like quickly. <laughs> I love it. You hear my pan? You hear it. I hear it. You hear it. You hear it. Good. That's the sound of goodness. Yeah. My oven is also telling me that it wants me to check it. So, of course, I shall give my treat a check. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So, this is my contribution to today's meal. Because for me, this would be a meal. Ready? It looks golden and it looks brown. I know you know what this is. It is goodness. And of course, I have to take my butter. <laughs> go. Over the top, the moment it comes out of the oven. Because a skillet cornbread needs butter on the top. Amen. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cornbread and cabbage. Amen. This is gonna be a great lunch today. I'm just oh yeah. I'm saying thank you in advance. <laughs> <laughs> ooh. All right. So let's set that aside for now. Nice and grab. Something to stir with. There we go. 
All right. We are All right. back. To All right. Action. Sweet. So I don't know if you got your garlic anywhere around, but you are going to I add. Don't. Okay. Okay. How much garlic do I need? Need about, well, my whole thing with garlic is that you add it with your heart. The recipe says about a tablespoon. Okay. Adding with my heart is, is my favorite thing. So. Okay. Um, I love garlic. Me too. Yeah. Me too. All right. Well, let me grab my garlic. <laughs> Don't be mad. I use a garlic press. Nice. Um, my heart is saying five cloves today. Is that too much? No. No? You can't, you can't ask me. I'm going to be like, yeah, it's, it's great. I love, <laughs> I love, I love garlic. <laughs> Same. Garlic is just one of those things that you can, I can never have enough of in a recipe. But I've been told that not everybody feels the same way that I do about the lovely garlic. Oh, I see right. some brownness. They're getting brown. Oh, yeah. They are definitely getting caramelized. I know how to caramelize an onion, honey. <laughs> so tell me how you came to baking. You said you don't like cooking as much as baking. So how did you come to baking? And, you know, just something that I slipped upon, I think, um, working and, you know, what are you going to bring? What are you going to bring? What dish are you going to bring? And yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to be the chick that brought paper plates. I didn't want to be the chick that brought. <laughs> oh, I'm going to bring all the utensils and the knives and, uh, and some, some napkins. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, I watched my mom do it for life. She was a baker and a cooker. Uh-huh. Uh, I never really got in the kitchen with her. She invited me. I didn't really go. I never went. Um, but as age happened and becoming a mother, I decided, you know, why not give this a shot? Uh -huh. turned out, with baking, I was actually very, very good at it. At, who knew? When did you come to baking? Mm, I would say probably around 30, 31, 32. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, so like a year ago. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. That's cute. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> That's cute. There are people who look at you and wouldn't think that you were 30 years old to begin with. So oh, sure. I'm just saying. That's really cute. How's that cute? <laughs> that was uh, a decade ago, longer than a decade ago. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I started making cakes and uh, they became the request. They became the love uh, of potluck dishes. And uh -huh. they, my dad was just like, you know, you're you're really good at this. And I was just like, you think so? He was like, yeah, oh. these, well, these cakes are good. And eventually I was just like, you know, um, just getting doled out with corporate life. I was just like, you know, what could I do for my second act, you know, retirement? Yeah one day and what could I do potentially for residual income and something that might out extend retirement from the corporate life to keep making money to stay active um, and I thought about baking cakes I love that you yeah. know I love that <laughs> <laughs> so we are nice and caramelized in the pot do you want me to put my garlic in let's put it in all right what's going in after the garlic we're gonna stir that around, and then it's okay. time to add your it's time to add your cabbage. Ooh, this smells really good. This is the simplest recipe ever. I love this recipe. Yeah, yeah. this is simple. I love recipe. simple. Yeah, and I love fried vegetables. Is that bad? Do you? <laughs> yes. It's delicious. All right, friends. Here we go. Cabbage. A lot of cabbage. I wasn't expecting it to be that much. <laughs> I know that's only a half a head, right? You only use right. Half, okay. Right. I only use half a head. Uh, so here's the it thing. Smells delicious. Yeah. What's you're the thing? Gonna, you're going to cook that cabbage down to how you like it. So some okay. people like to, some people like to put a you'll put a cap on it and let it steam. Ooh, uh, maybe. <laughs> no. You like your I wanna, crunchy? I want to have like my. I can't even describe it. There's like a consistency that I'm looking for. A texture. Okay. 
And if I see it, it's not going to get there. You go for the texture that you like. So some people okay. want that real soupy like. Some people Ooh. prefer more of a crunch. As long as you get the flavor to where you like it. Because at this yeah, point, yeah. it's salt and pepper to your taste. Okay. Um, Do you put sugar in yours too? I don't. Okay. I've, I've seen recipes with the, you know, with a little bit of vinegar, vinegar and a little bit of sugar for balance. Mm -hmm. I don't do anything. I just do salt and pepper. I'm real simple. Okay. But, we like simple. Yeah. We love yeah. simple. We stand simple. Yeah. So, you know, there's mm -hmm. so many ways to do this. Some people do the bell peppers. Some people do potatoes. Some people do um, bacon and sausage. Mm -hmm. um, Creole seasonings. There's so many ways you can go. I keep it I'm simple. I'm so good right now. Like, yeah. I am good. Yeah. Because it smells delicious. It looks delicious. Mm -hmm. I can like, forecast mm -hmm. what this is going to taste like. And mm -hmm. I am just losing my mind right now. Got my sure salt. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go to the store after this. I think we deserve some here. You're going to make this too? I think so. You make some corporates go with it? I think so. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Smells delicious. So what keeps you baking? Really makes me nostalgic of actually, once again, growing up in church, going to that church mother who gave me a piece of candy, who gave me a mm -hmm. butterscotch, who gave me <laughs> a peppermint out of her purse or, you yeah. know, all those treats and stuff. And this is just, you know, a taste of nostalgia. And I like that feeling. I really yeah. do. I really do that. I like that home. That down home feeling. So what's next for Sugar Wham? Sugar Wham. Well, hopefully we're going to get our soft launch going this June. Oh. <gasps> yeah. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> Trying to get the word out. We will be um, offering, I think my, I've got a base menu and it's going to be pound cake, five flavor pound of cake. Of course. My favorite pound cake. We're going to do, I can't resist your snickerdoodle cake. I just cannot. I cannot resist it. I love that cake. It, it is delicious. I'm going to class about that cake in a couple of weeks. <laughs> I'm a snickerdoodle girl, so I think that will be on the menu. Um, and yellow cake and chocolate frosting. So I love. a lot. I love yellow cake. Do you have a date for your soft open? And what does Just, your soft open look like? It is more of a word of mouth to friends and family. Uh-huh. Letting them know that I am open for business and taking orders and asking that. Oh, the ones who miss out are going to be super sore. <laughs> and asking that they just put the word out of for my business. Of course. And then, you know, I start, I, you know, it's things are starting slow, but I got to get right. this Instagram going and, um. Just taking it from there. What's the Instagram account? Sugar Wham. Imagine that. Wow. Yeah. And do you have a website up? I do. The menu page is not to par yet, but you can see the website if you go to Sugar okay. Wham. And so we're talking about five flavor pound cake. Mm -hmm. You're talking about vanilla cake or yellow cake with chocolate icing. Um, yellow. It's it's yellow cake with chocolate icing, which is pretty okay. much white. A white cake with chocolate icing. Right. Um, and five flavor. Snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle. Oh, that cake, I tell you. I tell you. All right, I'm cooking, I'm cooking, I'm cooking. Can I taste? Can you get your salt and pepper, you there? So you can get it Not to your, yet. I have to your salt taste. and pepper. Do you like okay. Can you eat bland? Because I have. I, no. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, get your salt and pepper going. Okay, yeah, I need salt and pepper. I need to find my pepper. Here it is. A couple little scrunches of pepper. Uh, I see this, like, it's an electric pepper grinder that a lot of people are using, and I'm like, I need to get one of those. <laughs> Isn't it funny how kitchen gadgety you become after you start getting in the kitchen? I love yes. going to home goods. I'm such an old lady. I'm like, I love it. Oh, here. I ask for kitchen gadgets for like gifts and stuff <laughs> all the time. All the time. Man, this is so easy. I have never made or consumed fried cabbage before. <gasps> I have some butter in here. How much butter do I need? With your heart? What is your oh. heart? <laughs> okay, then. With your heart? 
Well, let me butter it with my heart. I love this. My heart is very happy right now. I say at least two tablespoons, but you know. Okay. Go with your heart. Mm. Make this it is so heavenly. All right. It smells so heavenly. What made you decide to start a business? Mm, the opportunity to be in charge of my own destiny. Yeah? Yeah. Corporate life, you know, it does what it does and it kind of drains you and sucks the life out of you. And Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> That's actually extremely accurate. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And I got, <laughs> sucks I got the life out of you. Yeah. Got extremely tired of people being angry all the time. And yeah. you realize you realize people after being around that type of environment for so for so long, it's hard to not to become it. I'm so making I fried to, cabbage. Get you some. Get you some. I don't know who you set that back there, but you need to get you some. It's my wee one. My <laughs> say there. Can she smell it? Yeah, she just came in the kitchen. What are you making? <laughs> <laughs> She always, whenever I make something for, um, I'll bring dessert. She always comes in the kitchen as I'm finishing. Like, I'm like, <laughs> so, and my kids actually love cabbage. So I'm looking forward Delicious. to eating this. Delicious. All right. I have to taste it. I have to let, you know, I have to let you know if the salt levels are what I want them to be because my son will actually come for me. If the salt levels are not good. <laughs> so I have to consume this. Like, I have to. All right. I think it's about done. But I've got to check the salt level and I have to check the texture. That seems like a good tasty portion. Damn, I'm so excited. <laughs> this came together so fast. Mm. Need a little more salt. Got an onion. Oh, ooh. onions and bacon grease. You can't ooh. go wrong. You cannot ooh. go wrong. Dropping salt. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. 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 Why did you introduce me to this, Sam? Because <laughs> it's quick, it's easy, it's relatively cheap, and um, it's absolutely relatively delicious. cheap. It's a head of cabbage. It's absolutely delicious. Listen. <laughs> oh my god! So like, if you are, if your family is like shrimp lovers, I know people that do it with shrimp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't because everybody in my family is allergic. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't shrimp. I'm not allergic, but everybody else is. Mm. I'm just going to sit here and like eat it and cook it and eat it and cook it. <laughs> Does that make sense, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. And I'm getting like a little facial from the steam. Mm -hmm. It's a bacon grease facial. Absolutely. Bacon grease and butter facial. When they ask you what's your new secret. Let them know. Let them know. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I'm making such a pig of myself. But it's and, so I mean, delicious. And what kind of calories are in that? Like none. There really isn't. <laughs> you don't even have the bacon in there. So there's really not too much calories. Mm. It's nice. Ooh! The way I'm crushing on this right now. I'm going to test it again in a minute to make sure that I have the right texture, like the texture that I want. But this, Sam, this is an amazing cabbage. I don't, I've never, ever had this before. Oh, I yeah. never even knew this existed before you told me about it. Oh, yeah. And I was like, wait a minute, we can fry cabbage? <laughs> I am ruined because of this recipe. Ruined, I tell you. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So there is bacon grease, there's butter, there's salt, there's pepper. You said some people put a little bit of sugar in there. Why do they do that? They say uh, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of vinegar is supposed to create some sort of balance. I'm not, I don't see the necess necessity for that, but mm -hmm. I just go with the, with the basics. Well, your basics are incredible. I'm glad you think mm. so. Mm. That's done. 
It's got that little bit of crunch that I just love. I don't like when soggy. cabbage and like, yeah. right. I don't like when these vegetables get really soggy and they just yeah. kind of fall apart into mush. Yeah, I know some people mm -hmm. put the cap on, let it sit for like 30 minutes. That's really not for me. Mm -hmm. I do like the little bit yeah. of crunch. And um, if you like a little bit of zest, you grab your hot sauce. Ooh. And zest it up. Mm. This. Oh, my gosh. Easy. Mm. Easy peasy. It was so easy. And so quick. And such a perfect accompaniment to the barbecue chicken I'm making for tonight's dinner. Ew. Yeah. Ew. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, <laughs> I've got the corn, right? <laughs> got the cabbage. I got the corn. What goes better with all of that stuff? Ooh. So this the kids are going to love it? Today. Yeah, my daughter, loves, my daughter loves eating it. My kids love cabbage. I'm very, very grateful that they are such good vegetable eaters. But they are really going to love this cabbage. This is it's not fun. right. It is so this simple. Is not right. right. Not right. It's so simple. It's so simple. It's yeah. It's criminal. I'm finish this little portion. And delicious. See them. Ooh, you're welcome, Shawnee. You're so welcome. So, what's on the horizon for Sugar Wham? Where do you see yourself a year, five years from now? I'm just hoping that I have a small base of consistent customers that I serve mm -hmm. and p more than likely, hopefully doing pop-ups within the community. I don't mm -hmm. have larger than life um, aspirations. Who knows? Um, maybe I get into the blogosphere possibly and sharing recipes. I think you would be incredible in the blogosphere. Yeah, maybe so. But right I now, really do. yeah, but right now it's more like just serving community mm -hmm. and just and the cake lady. We had a cake lady, a cake lady. She retired, but you should have seen the, I mean, talk about spin the block. She could mm. spin the block. And she did. We stood in line for those Aww. cinnamon rolls for that carrot cake. It was absolutely, she was a celebrity, literally. And um, now that's going to be you. Why not? Is that, is that already you? Sure. It's in the atmosphere, the universe, you know, I can manifest that. Okay. <laughs> But I'm sure you have some people who love when, you know, there's an event and they they know a Sam cake is coming. They love the banana pudding pound cake. I do have this brown sugar mm. caramel cake that is out of this world. It's one of my absolute favorites. Mm. Yeah. And people love Samantha treats. Somebody calls. She's like, oh, we love Sam. We love Sammy treats. I was like, of course. I of course. never, never knew, known it. That way, but yeah, I can get you some Sammy treats. Some Sammy treats. <laughs> Zero <laughs> treats quicker. Sam, I mean, this cabbage come through cabbage. I turned it off because I don't want it to turn into mush. I am so looking forward to making an entire lunch out of this cabbage. Like, yeah. I can't wait. Yeah, there's a million ways to doctor it up, but the thing is, is that it is simple. And anybody it is. Can do it. It I mean, is. You, yeah, anybody could throw it. Onion, garlic, cabbage, salt, and pepper. That's it. Mm -hmm. And you helped me make something that is just utterly delicious. My kids are going to love this. And I appreciate Yay. that because I want them to eat things other than like chicken nuggets and you know, hot dogs. There's a place for that stuff, especially this weekend. I'm sure a lot of people are cooking out and making chicken nuggets and hot dogs this weekend in particular as it's Memorial Day. But I want my kids to eat whole foods like this. I want yeah. them to like go gaga yeah. over whole foods that are just yeah. like this. Yeah. And I appreciate you for bringing this to my attention because it surely was not on my radar. Something new. Something new. Exactly. Exactly. What is something that you want to impart upon your daughter about cooking and food? That girl is a food connoisseur. She is mm -hmm. a self-proclaimed foodie. Um, her mm -hmm. mother was a, mother was a food snob um, and a picky eater. So I just thank God every day that she is not like that. She's willing to sit down. She's willing to try. And I really don't have to impart the lessons. She was born and bred with them. But okay. um, I, 
other than that, food is about, you know, as far as I can tell, food is about creativity. Mm-hmm. It is really, a, really is a form of art. And it, is, it really is. It's an expression of love. So it is. Like, it really is. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It is. And when we finally do our meetup, I definitely want you to bring that banana pudding pound cake because I need to eat that. The way I love banana pudding is not right. <laughs> and delicious. banana pudding pound cake, like, it's that moist. could possibly be the world's most perfect food. It's possible. It, it, it's moist. It's dense. It, it's life-changing. What inspired you to come up with that? Um, you know, those southern roots. <laughs> yeah. Southern roots. They run they, deep. They run yeah. deep. They do. Oh, I am so grateful that you came today. Thank you for helping me make this incredible. Thank you for helping me make this incredible, incredible, incredible fried cabbage. Like I literally am about to go really smash this with a piece of this cornbread that I'm going to show you all in just a second. (laughs) Um, And that's going to be my lunch. Hopefully, there will be enough cabbage left over that I have some to serve for dinner. But let's take a little look-see at and remember what our finished product looks like. Oh, what do we have for dessert? I'm cutting such a big wedge of this. Oof. Here we go. This, friends, is my skillet cornbread. Cornbread is just something that's so traditional for my family. When Sam talked about the southern roots that she had in Arkansas, I knew I wanted to pair this very special cabbage dish with something that my family's roots, or that's something that's deeply, deeply, deeply in my own family's roots. This skillet cornbread is something that my mother used to make all the time and she had special techniques that I'm going to be adding to my recipe so that you guys can continue the traditions that my mother did with her skillet cornbread that probably her mother taught her maybe her mother before her taught her um but it's important that we keep these things rocking and rolling so friends thank you all for joining today I'm gonna keep Sam here for just a few more minutes And we are going to talk about this cabbage and this cornbread. You'll see the cornbread on my blog in the coming days. I hope you love it. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode of I'll Bring Dessert. And I will see you next time.